Hi everyone, it's Tyrone from tyronshum.com. Today I've got a special guest here. We're, firstly, we're sitting in our local park here and this is the first time I've actually done an outdoor interview. It's quite, quite a change for a while. And I've got a good friend here who attended my outsourcing live event workshop going back a few weeks ago. And since then we've kept in contact and we've become really good friends. And I wanted to get him on the call because this person, which I'll introduce you very, very soon, is an absolute genius when it comes to video. And I have learned so much from him. So without further ado, I want to introduce you to Carl Vanderpal. Thank you very much for coming on to the call. Thanks, for the interview. Yeah, thanks. Um, what I wanted to find out, and just to share for people, the reasons why um, I think you're a great video marketer is maybe just give them a little background about what you've done for video marketing and also, yeah, where, where you're at at this point in time. Yeah, uh, well, pretty much where it all started was um, I, I've been online since about 1996 and so in that time I've actually seen a lot of stuff come and go and um, all, all the sort of like the usual stuff that happens these days you think oh yeah that's re just something rehashed from like 1998 or something like that there that's right. and so it's just like it, it gets kind of old and they go oh it's this brand new thing and whatever so I thought nah that's it so a lot of new people out there what they tend to do is they get sucked into a lot of that um, uh, the, the hype and all the usual stuff that goes on. So uh, in, in regards to the whole video, um, I started probably about, uh, about 2005 and um, had a client who's basically had a uh, kids DVD series that they wanted to get out there and funny enough we actually got an email from Google uh, saying that hey we're looking to start a video service so uh, make sure you have the copyright and uh, upload some videos. So we're going okay so we, uh, we made some trailers and whatnot and chopped them all up then obviously that turned into the uh, Google video. And uh, so that was like back, back in about 2005. And what happened from there was um, I thought, okay, that's all right. And I thought, you know, where, where can we sort of move to from here? Then um, as time went on, uh, a couple of clients are saying to me, hey, we want to get out there. What's a quick way? And in that time, what I'd been doing is just watching the sort of stats on these, uh, these kids' uh, animated series. And I thought, okay, we're getting a bit of views here. Um, so I thought, okay, I wonder if there's anything in this like a whole video thing. Uh, and then no doubt, I didn't hear about YouTube. I thought, ah, oh, no, I'm a hardcore techie guy. I don't need that sort of stuff there. And then um, like, like customers, funny enough, it was actually customers that were asking me, um, well, well, can we get out there? Like, can we like this YouTube? And I'm like, what the heck is this YouTube thing? And so I thought, okay, I'll find out about it because I was too busy doing the, the old the old school method which is basically outputting a FLV file and then uploading it to your own server yep. and using like a flash's output and I'm sitting there wondering why it has to download for the next 20 minutes before it even plays and then my buddy um, who's in Japan is a good internet marketer over there he's going oh YouTube 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 I'm like, okay I better do some study of what this YouTube thing is so he goes look watch how fast my video is and I click play and it's the like instant I'm like oh man okay so from there I thought okay I better get to this YouTube thing so we opened up a YouTube channel, then we started to do some normal, like I guess, SEO tactics in order to drive some traffic there. Yeah. Then after a little while we started to see a bit of movement there. Then I had some other clients, um, um, he's basically a pro fisherman. And that started probably about 2008 or so, or 2007, around about that. And um, what is, because I did, bought some like YouTube courses to find out like, I know what's this thing all about. And uh, so I learned some tactics. I thought, okay, I'll give them a try. And what happened was, I said, okay, I'm like, you're my test dummy case. Yeah. Uh, so like, just hand me as many videos as you can. And so he just, I said, but look, as long as they have like the, the URL in the actual uh, video itself and uh, a few other things that I sort of mentioned to him, then what we did was I said, okay, I'm going to create a whole bunch of accounts um, on YouTube and Vimeo, Vidler and a few others as what these guys were suggesting so everything was done manually at that time yeah. a lot of the a lot of the software or the services that, that are currently available now weren't necessarily available back then or they were in early phase and they just crash all the time yeah. and so I thought okay so I did all the stuff manually and I did some stuff to drive traffic to them and what happened as a result was we started to get some momentum and funny enough like not only YouTube but one of the bigger ones was Meta Cafe and I started getting like equivalent as YouTube and I think you're like okay here's a bit of you know, good info here and so I thought okay let, let's drive some traffic to this one and see what happens and what what happened as a result of that when you do like a uh, like a normal universal search you type in something there and you get some video results yep. What, what surprised me to start with was I wasn't just getting one on the front page, I was starting to get two and three. Like, but this is just video, like the actual, the actual thumbnails. And I thought, oh, okay, and it sort of triggered something with me. I thought, I wonder if I can get a few more and see what happens. Because I was, I was starting to notice that 
not only did the YouTube rank, but also the Meta Cafe and the Vimeo. And I'm thinking, ooh, <laughs> got a bit yeah. sort of sneaky there. And I thought, okay, if it's because you can only rank for one site for like minimum, uh, sort of maximum uh, two links on the front page or the, on any page. So you get like what they used to be called an indented listing. Uh, but now uh, with uh, the universal, like with all the local search results and the video results and the news results and all the social networking results, um, it's quite changed. And so what was happening was I started to get two and three, on, like consistently, like a video. So I thought, okay. But I did notice the, the click-through rate was a lot higher than just a text video link. So, wait, is this is this particularly just for that fisherman site that you had? Just the fisherman. And you're ranking, like, pretty much on the first page of Google for all these different links. Yeah. And some of the times, I mean, one of them I thought, okay, I'm going to try something. Go yeah, after a bit of a medium competitive word. I thought, wonder how long it's going to take. Uh, to get on page one, position one, six minutes. <laughs> so that, that was my little bit of a claim to fame. <laughs> and I, don't, I, I must have timed it just right because the Google was obviously, Google literally, uh, sorry, uh, the spiders literally sit at uh, YouTube and they sit there scraping every two seconds. I mean, because we started, already had about maybe about 20 or 30 videos already. So it obviously helped. And we had a bit of page, I think we had a, like a page rank three maybe, at that old page, page rank two or three. So that obviously helped. Yeah. And so what we wanted to do there from there was I thought, okay, if I can get two on the front page, one, what happens if we get some more and start building some backlinks to those? So I started like to the other, like, I distributed to like a number of different other like uh, video services and I thought, okay, I'll build backlinks to those and see what happens. Well, now we're starting to get five on the front page. I'm thinking like, that's a little better. But then what happened one day, I thought like, because uh, he'd released a few videos on a certain keyword. But they were like, there's maybe about three videos all up, but they're distributed to like 30 different video sites. So there's like, you know, 60, uh, whatever, no, what's that? Um, it would be. Like yeah, so it's, uh, it's no, 90, 90, 90, 90, oh, yeah, 90 three, or so. Three different services. Yeah. yeah. And so what happened was, uh, I logged on one day just like not knowing. I thought, okay, I want to see how we're doing sort of thing with, with that particular keyword. And obviously different countries show different results. So I thought I'd just check the US because they're trying to crack into the US market because it's an Aussie-based Aussie -based product. And so what happened from there was I logged on, I'm like, oh, there's a few more than normal. One, two, three, four, nine. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I literally cracked, uh, it was 10 for a little while, then one dropped off. So, but it, it does fluctuate. So anywhere between about seven to nine now, it fluctuates up and down. Then I thought, okay, I wonder what's on the second page, just, to, just out of interest. Works. Click on the second page, eight. Third page, seven. Next page, eight. And I'm sitting there going like, oh. So within the first like five pages, it fluctuates anywhere between, like, I think the maximum we've had is about 37 or so wow. um, out of 50 results. Still, that, that's a horrendous amount of like videos for that one particular site on just one page. Yeah, it and means that's that, only three videos. Wow, it, it's, it's amazing because it sounds like he's literally that that company that you've worked for or done work for has been dominated by that first page so therefore right. everyone who clicks on those links will go straight to their website yeah, so that you got really no choice yeah, and right. what I've noticed sometimes because they a lot of people say oh the maximum you can have is two I'm like eh. I sort of stand quietly and sort of have a bit of a chuckle and we're like eh, no you can get nine. nine you can actually get ten uh, I've done it quite a, a, a number of different times on a couple of keywords for him uh, but yeah it's, what depends on what the competition is on the front page too obviously it's a very low competitive keyword but because we're trying to get the, that sort of brand out there, so as soon as they type in, because there's a lot of people selling that particular product. And so he thought, okay, well, let's get our sort of company out there with it. Yeah. And so what we did was, as I said, like I got those out there and we started getting like, you know, three, 4,000 views on each video. Um, so if you add it all up, there's quite a number of views for those particular videos. What, what I'm curious about is it's great to have all these great views coming through to all these videos and you've got all these links which people can find you. What I'm curious is from getting those views, converting them from video views over to say dollars for example for their yeah. business, how has that affected them and how has that helped them? Um, it probably, um, theirs is a little bit different model. Theirs is, uh, that particular stuff is getting their sort of the, the brand out there. Um, mainly because they, they can only sell to distributors. Yeah. Uh, they can't actually sell direct to the public. So for them, so as soon as anyone types it in, like for that particular keyword phrase, they'll be able to get like the, the brand awareness. But for other customers, we've done something similar. So for example, we've got a, like for, it's a weird niche, but I've never, like I'd never heard of this sort of stuff, but um, like, I get all these people come on to me, like, at this like product, and I'm like, how can I get it out there? And I'm like, okay, let's give it a go. Um, well, this one I'd heard of some stuff before, but it was uh, battery chargers. And I'm thinking like, okay, 
Radio, I'll give it a shot. And I just, I once again, you apply the same tactics and it works like with clockwork. Yeah. And so we started by basically getting some uh, traffic to the thing and within about three or so weeks, he's starting to get about seven or 8,000 views on his video. He only uploaded one video and just started to drive traffic to it. Now we've got about, um, oh, it's probably about maybe 200 subscribers um, and probably about 2,000 friends. Uh, we're obviously using some software to give it a bit of a push. Yeah. Uh, but now what's happened is, once again, because I told him, uh, because you can rank for each different website, like all different properties. So say for example you have Facebook, you've also got the video sites, you've got the Twitter account and whatnot. Well, what we've got on the front page for him is literally two listings for his website. Uh, but then what happens is now with the Google results, you've got a little plus button, which then he's the only one that's got the little plus button, which actually shows another five or six other results. Oh, okay. I didn't um, that. Then, um, not only that, I just checked the other day, um, and now we've got his uh, Facebook fan page ranking for his particular keyword. Because uh, obviously it's like a battery charger is, is his keyword, so we've obviously did facebook.com slash battery charger. Or something like that. And obviously, with the, obviously with these kind of rankings, it obviously helps him get the positions up onto Google, the first page, and so forth. That's right. It, so most of these businesses that you have been targeting are local businesses, and I'm pretty sure a lot of the audience is probably now wondering, okay, if you're able to help local businesses get their sites up onto the first page of Google, just using video alone, what are the strategies that you're doing? I mean, it, it's obviously nothing that everyone not everyone knows about these things and, and how to do it so maybe if you want just share a little bit maybe the how to's on how you've done it as well yeah um, pretty much the, the the quickest way to do it and this is where um, you have pretty much a wide open market um, and I'll share some ideas on how you can start uh, by just by having like a simple basic camera uh, like just doing some recording on like a flip cam or even a, a Kodak ZI8 or just something as cheap as that um, you can literally go in and like get some clients like within an afternoon um, so I'll just share some of the things I've been doing with it uh, because in not only in Australia but pretty much the world hardly anybody is targeting local business for video That's, that is so true I think a lot of people have just gone for search engine optimization and just hopefully getting the text listings but nowadays the reason why I think people haven't done videos is for local businesses one it, they think it's too hard and two it's a lot of work, they think, but in actual fact, it's actually not that hard. Yeah. Well, with a bit of help of outsourcers, well, yeah. you can pretty much get a lot of the job done uh, for for what you think. So you don't even have to get your head around it. If you can basically get in front of the customer and basically pitch them an idea, um, a lot of them go, "Well, you must know what you're talking about. We'll hire you." Yeah. 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 So pretty much what I've done um, is I've pitched myself as the video guy uh, to these these customers. I mean, we do a few other things as well. Like we do do the search engine optimization, which helps as well uh, to get the local listings I mean we also do the Google places um, but one of the things was I said get in front of the video so I'm hounding my guys my clients and you're like get the video in front of it if you got tips tricks anything we need to get video out there so we need to get your face now for, I just given I just heard a, I went to see a client yesterday in they're in like a beauty spa therapy and that was saying there's a guy from Australia called Napoleon Purtis. Now to the outside world, nobody pretty much knows who that is. No, who is but he's literally one of the leading guys now in the whole makeup arena. The reason why was he was doing videos. And then what happened was as soon as he chucked his face, it was like an ugly mug shot sort of thing. Um, as soon as he put his face on it, he then just started getting this, it went literally viral. They're going like, mate, if that guy can do it, like we, anyone, can, anyone do can do it. And so he just like kind of started a bit of a wave and started like a, the whole viral thing happening for the um, his makeup. Before, he was just like a guy running like a normal shop and you know, didn't, no one knew him. Now it's just like he's going to people in the, in the US, like all the celebrities know him now and, and he's got like quite a name for him. So now he's pitched himself as the premium top end. So it's like, you know, it's like the, the top end sort of the top dollar sort of thing. And so after talking to like the, uh, this lady yesterday in her business, like she relies on foot traffic going through the front door. Like if they don't sort of see it there, they're like, oh, we didn't realize you were there because it's actually a house converted into a business. So it's a little bit tricky. And so what she's looking to do is get some traffic and to get her, the word out there. And so I said, as soon as I said video, she goes, oh, funny enough, I've, I just like got a camera the other day and I want to sort of do some stuff with it. I'd heard about it, uh, but don't know, don't know what to do. So all they're looking for is a bit of help. If you can show them, if all you need to do is just be a little bit further down the track than them and you can pretty much close the deal. 
Now, now, I want to give you some ideas just to sort of uh, trigger some stuff with you, um, so that you can go. Okay, I can literally run with this right now. Like you can, like once we finish this video, you can literally stop right now and take off and go literally sign up a client if you wanted to. Now, just to give you an idea, say for example, you're going to a pet shop. Now, bring your little flip cam or bring your little Kodak ZI8, go into there and obviously pitch your deal, say, hey, we do videos and we want to get your video, uh, business out there. So all you need to do is charge them maybe five, six hundred bucks a month. You go in there and film all the little pets in there. Like uh, this is little you know, uh, Scruffy, and he's like a, a silky terrier or whatever the type of dog it is. You get a bit. Of, you just read the, the bulleted list that they give you of what he's had. His, he's had his shots. He's had. He's been this and been that and whatever. And so you just le read from a bulleted list, or you get the girl like the in the shop to present. Yeah. Uh, get her in front of the camera. You just put your hold little hold tripod the, up. Yeah. Hold the puppy. Hold the puppy. <laughs> oh, isn't he nice? Whatever. So all it has to be is like you know 30 to 60 seconds on telling them the benefits of you owning this puppy yep. um, and then what you do then is you start to build a channel on YouTube or, or your video channels that, that is so easy to do I mean just you and I just right now talking here as soon as this video gets finished it's going to get uploaded onto YouTube and I send it to the database uh, my subscribers on YouTube will see it and that's basically free information out there and then as soon as you get that kind of traffic through Obviously, you're going to have some people converting and asking questions to go, okay, what are your services, how to do this, etc., etc. And it's exactly what you're doing, except you're doing it in a local business environment. Yeah. Um, or you can go to your, like, especially your local tradies. Uh, they got a bit of, a uh, lot of them have, like, a bit more cash than, so, and they're, like, they're, like, the sole trader. Yeah. So they're, they're on their own. So they're, like, literally the decision maker. Um, whereas you go to a bigger company, then you've got to speak to so and so, and you've got to speak to this person, and then they get shifted around, and it's like, okay, well, you never get anything done. So what you want to do is maybe go into like a small to medium business, uh, maybe about I don't know no more than say five ten people, and it's doing a bit of a uh, bit of business already in your local area. So you don't have to travel like. Uh, 200 miles away just to go find a client you can literally go down the street find your local plumber local builder or whatever the case is that want to get their services out there um, even if you wanted to uh, do it as a bit of a freebie so you can get the uh, experience and exposure because uh, yeah you're gonna you know mess up a few times but hey that's all part of learning um, so as long as you like don't want to get everything perfect that's the thing is is good enough is good enough and that's a bit of a Dan Kennedy thing uh, don't sit there until it's absolutely perfect and then not doing anything with it and it sits there on your hard drive you got you got to at least upload it <laughs> actually yeah. that's a really good point that you just made taking action to go and meet the clients just take a, a video get it on your hard drive and upload it to YouTube but obviously it's not just only that you still need to do some kind of extra work behind right to be able to get these videos out there because yeah, sure. so what 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 do you need to do to be able to do that? okay well the main thing or the main things are is if you're going after a local business you want to target local keywords yep. Uh, so say for example, uh, we're in Sydney at the moment, so what we would target is, so say for example we're doing a pet store or a plumber, we would um, say uh, plumber Sydney as the title in the description in the keyword tag so you'd obviously uh, associate all those with that um, <clears throat> then what happens after that you'll do a few other things in order to like I mean like with Google uh, sorry with our uh, YouTube uh, literally the, the Google spiders literally sit right at the front door yeah. and they're indexing like within seconds uh, so as I said that six minute one I could, uh, possibly, possibly could could have been quicker but I didn't refresh it obviously every two seconds sort of thing just to find out uh, if it was indexed or not yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so one of the first things you do, once the video goes live, um, go basically ping the site. Now, if you don't, don't understand what pinging is, uh, just do a search for pinging service. Um, and there's literally all you need to do, I think there's like one called pingler.com. Uh, and there's a pingomatic, there's a few others like that. All you do is you take the URL from your video, enter a description, hit the ping button, and then it goes off and triggers other... Uh, search engines and other sites to basically come and index your particular video and it's as simple as that right you just ping it and then hope and then the Google engines just come in and start crawling your that's site right. so that way it gets it out there that's right another thing too because you're at the moment you're in, like you're a fresh brand new channel so you want to start building up friends subscribers and uh, obviously comments well, remember guys this is only for YouTube that we're talking about right now specifically yeah, you specific, can do yeah. but and actually um, across the other video sites there are comments as well 
but in particular mainly because uh, there's some little things going on that a lot of people don't know about now if they don't understand what page rank is it's basically like in a like a, I guess you could call it you know, sort of an authority uh, you become an authority so like for example Google is a page rank 10 which is like the maximum Facebook is a page rank 10 okay and if you're a page rank 0 it's just like you really got no authority it's like you, Google doesn't really know who you are until you start moving up the ranks and start getting a higher page rank well the thing about YouTube is a lot of people don't know there's actually Actually, you can piggyback on top of YouTube's, um, I guess, uh, authority in some ways. How, how does that work then? Please explain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because um, uh, I was just talking to a, a buddy uh, like earlier on, and because there's a lot of things out there, if you look at Wikipedia, yeah. it's always seemed to be up there in the ranks with their keywords. The main reason why is they hold a lot of the authority internally, and a lot of their internal pages get ranked really, really well. So what they're doing is, if you have an external link going to an external site, it will basically say, don't pass any of the authority to that site. But if you have an internal page, then that will then automatically go up because it's, it, they uh, allow the authority to pass um, uh, with the internal links. For people who don't understand what backlinks are, maybe just explain how these backlinks work because you're talking about getting backlinks from your channel to all the other commenters and on the sites as well. Yep. So if you're looking at the normal typical SEO um, uh, sort of backlink, what they are, if you can imagine them as votes. So the more votes you have, the more popular they become. Uh, that, that simple terms, that's nice and easy. So what you need to do is in order to get votes on YouTube rather than the normal uh, search engine optimization, the same tactics apply, but you go about it slightly differently. So in regards to getting backlinks within YouTube itself is you have to make comments, you have to uh, subscribe to people, and you also have to be befriend people. They're the three main aspects. The other ways are basically creating a playlist, of your own so you might want to target with the keyword create a playlist with your keyword in there then add your videos into it as well so you might be targeting on your particular keyword like that we were talking about the plumber before like plumber Sydney um, and then what you do then is you might release say for example five videos and within those five videos you target your particular keyword phrases then what you do then is you create a playlist called uh, Sydney plumbing services so it's slightly different to your keywords of the other ones but it's still got your keywords in there and it's a playlist then so it's an extra backlink which also contains those five backlinks within the actual videos what I'm just curious so what you're saying to me is that if you create a playlist inside YouTube that playlist is actually counted as another keyword optimized term which also allows you to be able to get another backlink back to you but your not, channel. Only, not only the backlink it actually passes authority juice Oh, okay, I didn't know that. So basically, we can get backlinks or authority juice from doing comments, yep. uh, leaving play or setting up your own playlist, mm -hmm. subscribing to other people's channels and becoming friends with them. And, and so making the comments, the friends and subscribers, they're the, the sort of three main, and then obviously with the, the, um, uh, the, uh, the playlists. It's just mind-boggling how simple it is. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of people, when they're doing search engine optimization, they've got to build backlinks of all these sites and go find, a lot of the, the, the common courses out these days is go find a .edu backlink. And if you get a .edu backlink or a .gov backlink, then oh, you sort of got it made. But I'm going, okay, by the time you find all those, I've already made 20 backlinks already uh, by making, uh, making some friends. And what I'm curious is, where do you find these really good or become good friends with people on YouTube? Because you just don't go to anyone, do you? Um, you can, but what you want to do is find out who's got the juice. Okay. So within YouTube itself, a lot of channels have really got... The, they're established. Like, for example, if you go to youtube.com slash user slash Fred, is like one of the most subscribed people online. Uh, Fred Ficklehorn, the, the, the annoying character that everyone loves, loves to hate or hates to love or whatever. Yeah. And so with that, he's actually got a page rank eight channel. So if you go to the channel page, not the video itself, but the channel page, should be youtube.com slash user slash Fred. And what you look there, if there's a few little plugins on the Firefox browser to then check the page rank. Uh, and also to check the the, the old sort of the, 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 the other sort of bits on the page to check whether there's follow and no follow links. And so with that, I look for people who have got high page rank. Yeah. So what I'm doing there is I'm kind of leapfrogging 
over the other guys. So I'm getting uh, backlinks, so to speak, from PageRank 8 sites, PageRank 7s. So I've got a PageRank 9 in there and probably a whole bunch of PageRank 6s and 5s and 4s and everything else in between. So what you want to do is target the, the top ones first and then work your way down. And simply all you have to do is once you find these page rank 9 sites, you just hop on there and leave a comment, right? Leave but a comment, make sure you, you, uh, make sure you friend them. Um, so because inside their friend little box there, you'll show up in there and that's part of the page rank. Uh, and so that's once again a backlink back to your channel. Gotcha. So I'm curious now for also others as well, they're probably wondering how do you find these high page rank type uh -huh. of... Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> you want me to reveal the secret? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah. It can't be that hard. <laughs> yeah. Um, if what, what, are, what you're looking for is just like a couple of simple tactics. Okay, you need like to start with a, a, the Firefox browser has a plugin that actually tells you... Um, uh, it's called SEO Quake. And what you need to do is install the plugin, go to, just type in SEO Quake into Google and you'll be able to find it. Then you'll be able to um, uh, show some, uh, like some uh, extra uh, stats on the page when you do a search on Google. So what you need to do is go to google.com or you, in your local country, then as, uh, you move your mouse over next to Google logo or the, the actual search box is the thing that's called advanced search. Now what you want to look for is um, uh, certain keywords on the page because some of them uh, you want to look for those that allow to um, comment straight away uh, rather than being a subscriber. So you can do that if you want if you don't want to subscribe to every sort of Tom, Dick and Harry. So what you would type in, you go to google.com, click on the advanced search, then what you need to do is type in the actual first box there, your keyword in phrase match. And what you need to do with that is just put that into like a quotes. Like for example, I'm doing some internet marketing. So what I want to do is put internet marketing in quotes into the first box. The second box that says look for phrases like, uh, or something along those lines. And what you need to do is type in add comments, so ADD comments. Okay, so what that looks for on the page is you can actually add comments on the page. You can, you don't have to put that in, but as I said, that's the, just an extra step if you want to get some uh, instant uh, sort of pages. But you can even literally skip that step. Now, what you need to do, because what you're looking for is internet marketing or whatever your keyword term is. Then what you need to do is scroll all the way down. It's got how many results per page. You can drop down that list there and select a hundred. Okay, now what you want to do is go to the last box. It says, what site do you want to search on? See, we don't want to search all of YouTube. We only want to search channel pages. So we can actually leave the comments and whatnot from there rather than the videos itself. The videos you can do slightly different, but it's along the same lines. So you would actually type in just, don't put the HTTP, just put youtube.com forward slash user forward slash. Then what you do then is you go to your little plugin for your SEO Quake, turn that on, and then hit submit. Oh, it's as simple as that. Well, that I've got to go home and try that out myself. It's a, it, it's really good these little tips that you provided for us, and I really, really thank you for all that because simple thing like that, you can really ge generate quite a bit of traffic back from other people's. Uh, sites as well and also get backlinks as well. Yeah, so with that, what you need to do is now that you have your results, you've got 100 results for that particular keyword phrase in the phrase match and you're searching youtube.com forward slash user slash. Now, what will happen is you'll see a bunch of results, but now you have the, uh, you need to turn the plugin on first before you hit the search results page. Otherwise, your extra results won't show up. When you see the results in Google, you see the usual results with the, uh, the title and the description and whatnot. But then what you'll get with the plugin is you get a few extra little bonus bits. Now, one of them is a thing called PageRank. Now, with this particular plugin in general, uh, compared to some of the other sort of PageRank plugins or the, some of the other sort of extra stats plugins, you can't sort by PageRank. Now, remember how I said you want the, the, the highest ones first, the highest possible, like a PageRank 8 or a 9, or if there's any sort of anything higher than that, that'd be good. So what you need to do then is there's a little button that says sort by ascending or descending. So you sort by the highest PageRank first in descending order that means gotcha. that's right so you might have a page rank 8 and I know that like for example Jeff Johnson's videos is a page rank 8 and so what I did was well, okay Jeff Johnson you're now gonna be my friend <laughs> uh, so sort of, I got underlying sort of uh, uh, like I guess uh, motives behind it to obviously uh, take some of that page rank juice but for all good purposes but so what happens from there is I'll then copy his like I basically um, open up into a new tab his channel 
and then what I do then is I make like I, I watch maybe like an, uh, 10 seconds of the video go okay that's, hey, I'll comment on the video whatever it is um, or in inside his channel page you can actually comment on the uh, uh, inside the actual channel itself yeah. so that's my first bit the next thing some of them what they do is they actually moderate so let it go as make make sure it's decent don't don't do spammy stuff and go oh like a no, nice video sort of thing yeah. at least make a decent comment and watch maybe you know half of the video or whatever uh, add, add, always add uh, add value uh, so that don't just do like any sort of spammy comment yeah. <clears throat> then what you need to do is go up to his little subscribe button subscribe to him and then make him your friend if it comes up straight away on the comments what you need to do is ping off what we talked about before yeah. is hit the little ping button now <clears throat> in Pingler uh, pingler.com they've actually got a Firefox plugin so instead of you going off to um, uh, go to the website type it in uh, typing it in and then hitting ping, uh, that's going to take time. All you need to do then is install the little um, uh, Firefox plugin. Um, it'll show up the top uh, near your start button and, and sort of refresh button. All you need to do is hit the button and it gets pinged to like 85 services or something like that. So what that'll do then is that'll pick up you as being that person's friend. What I'm wondering is when you ping that to that service, whose address, which address do you put in it? Is it the uh, Jeff Johnson's address? Yeah, yeah. Well, for example, we're going to Jeff Johnson's, for yeah. example's sake. So it will ping his. Okay. But the purpose is to get it indexed so you've just been added to your friends list and your subscriber. Therefore, creating an extra backlink back to your site. Quicker, Quicker. rather than later. Yeah. So rather than Google trying to find out, oh, okay, who's his friend since last time I come and checked, well, you're helping them give it a little bit of a push. That's awesome. I'm really, really loving these tips and I want to keep asking you more of that. But I think what, what will be good as well too is maybe let's just change things a little bit. Recently we've had a little chat and you've shared with me that you've targeted a really, really competitive keyword. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear you that. He's... Me <laughs> <laughs> um, it, I, yeah. I mean, you don't have to share exactly yeah. what it is, but what I'm curious about is why did you do it and also to how has that also worked out for you because something like that is obviously a very very competitive niche and also to something that you can monetize very well yeah um, well pretty much I'll, I'll sort of give the general the overview there just so you can get the concept of it because um, a lot of it is actually using very advanced strategies uh, that sort of only the initiated <laughs> sort of seem to know no just kidding <laughs> but yeah it, it does take a little bit of work yep. so pretty much what I did was one day uh, I came up with like literally when I first started like um, put my blog out there because I had my I was sitting on my domain name which is carlvanderpal.com for about two years and I thought oh, may as well do something with it and get something out there because I got a few services I thought okay get that out there as well so I thought okay what do I need to do I thought I'll go after I'll, I'll give the concept and then we'll go through some a like, little bit of the details the concept was. Uh, okay, I want to go after a keyword term, so at least get some decent traffic to my site, not just like I know, one visitor a month sort of thing. Yeah. So I did a, uh, in my keyword research of some stuff, I thought, okay, what market can I go after? And I thought, okay, because of, because of my business background, I target a lot of people who want to start like their own business, which then eventually goes into like a fully fledged business. So they might start at home and then grow and grow and grow, and then obviously open up like some sort of like an outlet or shop or whatever. And so I thought, okay, I've been helping those guys, so I know, I know what it takes to get something started. So how can I help these guys uh, a little bit, like, get some good traffic in and give them, because I want to I wanna give away some good tips, because uh, I, I believe I've probably helped about maybe 100 to 120 businesses get started from absolute scratch. Uh, so there's a lot of experience there, and we know a lot of the hurdles and what they overcome. And so I thought, okay, <clears throat> so the first thing I would do, I need some articles on my site. So in order to do that, I thought I'll use the same tactic I use for the YouTube to find out what's the most like best like sort of keyword term for and obviously the highest ranked thing on something like if I'm going after articles, why don't I just go after like a ease on articles because that's that's the, the sort of the granddaddy of the article sort of uh, websites. So what I did was actually typed in a keyword phrase around home based business that I did some keyword research on and I found I was getting a fair bit of fair traffic, traffic. <laughs> uh, but, but it's also also the derivatives of that keyword as well so not only home-based business it's home-based business to start and a whole bunch of other sort of 30 40 other keywords so I thought okay <clears throat> what's getting some good traffic but what's the most trafficked um, article on ease on articles so I thought okay I'll do the same tactic using the same technique so I went to uh, YouTube clicked on the advanced search 
So I typed in my keyword phrase in phrase match. And then what I did was a little extra trick. It says, what do you want to search for? And I did a search for what's the most viewed one. Now, if, you, if you're looking at something like that, as I said, it's a bit of an advanced tactic. But what I look for is footprints on the page. Now, what a footprint is, is something that's on every single page of these own articles. And what's that? This page has been viewed X times. Oh, okay. Okay? So what you need to do is copy that phrase, not with the numbers, like how many times it's been viewed, like the 10 or 20 or whatever it is. So you copy the first part of the sentence. This page has been viewed. Yep. Then what you do then is you can actually type in a number range because Google's got a look at, they call it a hack but it's not really a hack but all you do is a number range so you type in in phrase match this page has been viewed or whatever the term is you just copy and paste it straight from the page and you want to see okay if anything's between a thousand and two thousand or a thousand and ninety nine million yep. like views then that'll pick up everything outside of that then what you want to do then is all you do for that is put like the first number you want to start at say say for example a thousand don't put any commas because they just get stripped out anyway so you type in a thousand you put three dots or the ellipsis so three dots so it's like the dot 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 then the highest number you can possibly think like 999 million or whatever whatever there's obviously not many views on that many views so what it does then it goes off and searches uh, is on articles for the most viewed um, article within that particular keyword phrase. But by doing that, you're, not, you're going to get hundreds and thousands of results, not just one or two, right? No, you, because you're targeting a number range, you're dropping out the ones that are less than a thousand views. But wouldn't there be a few articles that are greater than a thousand views? Oh yeah, for sure. But, but now, oh. now, what you do then is you keep on bumping it up. So instead of a thousand, you, buy, you might put like three thousand. Oh. And what you do from there is you up the ante, so you literally come up with like the top 10. Then what you need to do then is before, as I said, you turn on your SEO quake, yep. and guess what you do? Sort by page rank. Yep. So you get sorting by page rank, and the highest viewed, most relevant particular one for that one, there's your article to start. So I literally grabbed that article and got the general gist of what they were saying, then I pretty much put it onto my site. You spun it, right? Well, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to plagiarise it yet. But yeah, I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, so I, I took the general essence of it and I said, okay, the elements are there. Yeah. So I'll take some similar elements, put my own spin because like some of the stuff in there was, yeah, it was okay. But this was based on a lot of my experience and the sort of the hundreds of businesses that I'd sort of like, helped. I'm going, okay, add a bit more extra to it. So what I did then was, okay, I got my article that's sitting there and I put a few other articles up and a few videos up and whatnot. I thought, Okay, it's starting to get a bit of traffic. So I thought, okay, what if I just throw a bit of an extra backlinking and, uh, from, from a few sources and sort of see what happens. And then what happened was, I, I noticed because I got um, uh, a uh, rank tracker to basically check where I'm ranking okay. uh, for that particular keyword for that particular URL. It's interesting you're talking about a rank tracker because something like Market Samurai has a rank tracker in there too. That's what I'm using. Oh, okay, cool, well, there you go. <laughs> That's what I'm using. So I put my keyword in there, I put my URL in there, and I said keep it tracked. And so I'm watching the, the, the track and it started to go like this. I'm thinking, okay, I'm starting to move up a bit. It's starting to get some pretty good traffic now. I thought, wonder if I can up it you know, like significantly. wonder what I have to do. So a lot of the, the tactics I did for this particular one was using auto blogs. Now, for those that don't know what autoblogs are, is some, using something like a, a WordPress site, and you can basically get a number of different feeds, number of different articles, and you can write your own stuff, and it basically gets uh, fed in automatically. So all I did was, uh, if you could just get the concept, is you can actually put a, uh, I wrote like a description down in the footer, like a sentence. Yep. But I actually uh, anchor text my keyword, and that was then going back to that particular inner page of my website. So say for example, if I was targeting a keyword, for example, say home-based business, for example, I would anchor text that on my auto blog site, and then what that'll do then is, say for example, I have uh, 50 articles. That will mean 50 backlinks with that one on there because it's sitting in the footer, which is obviously on every single page. Okay, what I'm just curious is when you say you're talking about auto blogging, are you saying that these, these sites, these blogging sites are, are sites like Blogger, uh, I don't know, live journal, all those kind of sites, or are they, they different? They could be. They could that, be. That's one aspect to it. But I want to control um, my mini network. So I'll then create a blog about an X, and then what I want to do is in the footer, 
as I build up that particular say for example I'm doing something in the home based business market so I'll then get the, there's a lot of like um, auto blogging tools out there and there's a, there are a diamond dozen and what you need to do is bring in some feeds like from like a uh, home based business business.gov and all those type of high authority sites but as I said in the footer of the theme then you have your link like you, you might have a few links so you might have a few different sites that you're sending backlinks to yep. so um, you might have like maybe two or three links in the footer of that particular one but if you have 50 articles then you have like your tags page and, and all the other sort of things that are associated to that then what you got then is 50 backlinks automatically that's really smart because the way I've been looking at it, especially for what I've been doing with my team, is we create articles and we put the anchor text inside the body of the article. We don't yes. actually put it in the footer. But yeah. that means that you have to create each individual article with in individual backlinks. That's nothing to do with the article at all. It's actually to do with the theme of your overall site. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. The way you're doing it is oh, a lot yeah, more yeah. smarter because you're just yeah. basically one theme and you multiply across the different that's articles. Right. Yeah, that's right. Whereas in, in order for us to be able to have that many backlinks you'd have to create a lot of articles in your site to be able to get that exactly and that takes yeah. a lot more time whereas yeah, yeah. but you can do both yeah you can do both so with that uh, so I thought okay like going on from there was okay I've got some auto blog sites I might have say for example I have 10 auto blog sites for example say then each of those ones has a link in the footer going back to that inner page of my website and then um, so then what I'll do from there is um, I have like what you call um, articles but I have them obviously pre-written and they're coming in the spin syntax yep. now for those that don't know what spin are um, a lot of people I mean we get different ones I mean uh, a lot of the guys out there do what they call synonym spinning yep. now it's just replacing word by word with like you know uh, there he goes until like you know, he was going there and oh, it's just like very basic spinning but the articles that we get are pretty much like the, the top of the, the, the cream of the crop because what uh, Google literally caught on to that and they caught on to the synonyms they go, oh that's just like a synonym and like, you know, it's basically like a, a, a lot of people say, oh it's duplicate content that's right <laughs> and so th that's, that's another myth I could go on another sort of a day about but uh, yeah, basically duplicate content is a myth uh, so it's going to cause a lot of controversy with all the hardcore SEO guys, but it's a load of bollocks. But <laughs> we, won't, we won't go there. <laughs> we won't go there. Yeah, so with that is these articles are not necessarily um, synonym spun. We basically spin, like, so, so, say for example we have uh, one article. The article is written five times. So that's five, uh, five levels of spinning just right there. Because it's, and it, like, each paragraph then is spun five times. And then each sentence within each paragraph of those five times is then spun another five more times for each sentence. So you're getting literally billions and billions worth of spins, all 100% unique. So are these, are these articles done with a computer or is it sent out to someone outsourced who does it for you? They are um, uh, English, as their first language, English writers yeah. uh, from around the world. There's maybe about 10 different writers. And so what we do then is we give a, um, a subject to write on. Uh, these particular ones, and now this is the other myth too, oh, it has to be about my subject. Once again, absolute load of bollocks. Because I use internet marketing articles and I put any link I want in there. Well, with your keyword, right? With, As, my, with yeah. my keyword. I've done that too, and it works. <laughs> and it works, yeah. Because there's a lot of people going, yeah, but it has to be in my niche of, like, this obscure niche that no one even writes about. And it's like, I have to have an article about that. No, you don't. It's like, what I do then is I take those ultra spinnables, and I get one of those every single, every, every single day. So I could literally submit that one article 200 times and not get done for duplicate content or the, the myth that we just spoke about. So I could literally take that article, spin it again, and then resubmit it. Spin it again, and then resubmit it. When you're talking about spinning, are you using a particular software to do that? Yes. Any, any software you can recommend or I could recommend? <laughs> yeah. The, the one that I'm currently using for that particular one is the, the best spinner, yeah. uh, which is quite popular out there. There are others out there, but that literally just gets the job done. Yeah. I mean, like to get a copy of, of what it is there, we've got one. We use also the best spinner. You can get it at um, trythebestspinner.com, which is our, our link here. Um, and we use that all the time as well and we also use another one called um, Unique Article Wizard as well yeah. um, but we also have a trial um, 
affiliate link with with the unique article wizard so if you do want to download a copy of that it's at unique article wizard trial.com and you can just get a trial there for 30 days for, for one dollar mm, that's so, good yeah so it's really good for, for all all the people who listen to this as well too yeah then what i do then is i actually take those articles and then a lot of people go oh you have to submit it to ease on articles yeah sure you can do that but it's like got a bit of power but when you're talking you want to submit to the absolute masses like really really quickly there's a thing called blog networks there are quite uh, quite a number out there now I've, I've got a subscription to probably about four or five of them now what I do then because a lot of the syntax of the spinning syntax is exactly the same so what you could do is literally have three tabs open or four tabs open depending on how many sites you subscribe to so what you do is you take the one article and you put it into the best spinner and you do what they call a flat spin. So because this is inner spun, like the, the outer sentence has got there and it's just quite complicated there so I won't go into it, but what you do is a thing called a flat spin uh, inside the best spinner. So what that does then is you get like just one level of spinning, not inner, inner loops. So what you do then is you take that article, you post that into your first blog network. Now just a bit of background on what blog networks are, there are actually um, people out there wanting to get content on their site. So there's like a main hub where they subscribe to and say, okay, here's the access details to my site, go post me articles on these particular subjects. So you literally got hundreds or even thousands or even 20,000, 30,000 people that want content for their site. So what, what that system does then is take your article and give a spun version to that particular website. And it distributes all across these blog networks. Now actually, let's take a, take a step or, or pause here because I think a lot of us is probably going, wow, this is going over our head. What I just want to just recap on is what we're talking about right now is Carl is sharing his really advanced techniques here on how he's able to get this particular niche that he's working on, which is a very, very competitive niche, up to the first page of Google. And these are advanced technology uh, strategies. What I'm really curious about is how long has this taken you and what are your plans for this you know, oh, actually, where are you now at? At it, like, where is it ranked now for this okay. keyword? Um, well, it started off. I was like, you know, like not ranked, obviously. Yeah. Then I started to move up the ranks, maybe about like you know, two hundred and also five hundred to start with, and move it to two hundred. It started to move up pretty quick. And what happened was like through the blog networks and through the auto blogs and a few other things. Um, what I did was um, obviously start to put some backlinks. Then I started to build some. Um, uh, what they call social backlinks to those backlinks of backlinks. <laughs> so it, it does get a bit like quite advanced there. Wow. So what I did was I started getting, and I noticed it started getting a, a start a bit more traffic. So I was on about page th page three for the uh, the long tail keyword phrase. Then I thought, okay, that's getting quite well. But I was noticing in my analytics that there was I was getting all the variables of that particular thing as well. That usually happens. Yeah. yeah. And so because you're ranking quite well, but I I absolutely optimize the page to its absolute hilt uh, to the absolute top I, could, I, I don't think I can maximize you probably can probably do some more in there but look a bit spammy uh, but yeah so I literally optimize the whole page and obviously you want to keep them on there for as long as possible so what I started to notice was all the derivatives I thought okay I'm starting to get some rank so when I was uh, sending to the blog networks I was spinning my anchor text yes and so not only that, but that's the reason why I was getting ranked for all these other keywords as well. I thought, oh, this is all right. Then I started noticing the, like, not only the long tail keyword phrases, but starting to get, like, the, the, the four and then now the three keywords. And now I'm starting to get some twos. I'm like, okay, I get a few bit of traffic there. So what happened was I was starting to move up, and I got to page, like, on page two. And I started to get a bit more traffic, a bit more traffic. And I thought, oh, okay, I'm nearly there. I thought, what if I can just, like, this is for the... the, the it's about a four, four, uh, four word phrase. Okay. Then I started to move up and then I, I bumped up to the first page at the bottom and it started to get a bit more traffic. I thought, ah, I may as well go all out. I may as well crack the top two or top one or whatever. Because I looked at number one, he's, he's like a page rank six, I'm page rank zero. And uh, it's just like, he's like, and it's like, it's uh, one step, like actually I've beaten now, uh, I think it's business.gov, I've beaten them out. And they're at position two or three now, so uh, position three or four now because uh, I you know, bumped them out. But so what happened was when I got to, I moved up, I got, when I got to position four, that's when the, 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 
uh, the traffic really started to kick in. I'm thinking like, okay, I noticed there's a bit of traffic, but now you go up to even like position four, it's like from p- position 10. Um, is what, what kind of traffic are we looking at or talking about? Like thousands or yeah, hundreds thousands, of them? Like, like when you're going from absolute nothing, might maybe like 100 or 200, uh, like a month sort of thing, but now getting into the thousands and thinking like, okay, that's just a one page on the site. That's a lot. And now, um, when I went from... Now, here's what happened was, I thought, I'm just going to go like, really hit it hard, just go absolute backlink for the next like three or four weeks. So I did some backlinking there, and I went from there, and I did some little few... Tra- uh, I changed a few tactics on my um, auto-blogging, just to go after the shorter tail keywords now. Yep. And then that, then once that... Uh, the, the pinged all the, like, all the site to go, like, hey, index, index, index. And then what happened was, I started to go, like, rank up... Literally just jump, like, like within about a few days... I jumped from four to two, and that's when like, like it went a little bit ballistic. <laughs> that was like for the forward keyword phrase. Then I thought, I wonder how I'm doing because I, I I noticed some stats in my Google Analytics. I'm starting to rank for the two keyword phrase. Uh, oh, sorry, the three three word keyword, keyword keyword phrase. And I thought, ooh, okay. If that's the case, I'm going to change my backlinks to that thing, and I'm going to see this guy go all that. So I ranked. I was ranking on like a page three at the, t- at the stage for the 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 the, 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 the really heavy traffic. Now I thought, I'm just going to go for it. And I was like, what the heck, just as a challenge. And I started moving up and moving up and moving up. And then I got on the front page and it started to really kick in then. Like when you're getting like four and 5,000 visits okay. uh, to, to what, no, a month. A month. Um, then I hit the sort of the, the um, number four spot. Then that, uh, actually uh, it, it fluctuates at the moment. It was at six. And you're getting like, you know, five and 6,000 and um, for for one page. Yeah, that, that's horrendous. I mean, so a lot of people don't get that in like you know, six months sort of thing. And when you're getting that per month on just one of your pages, um, I'm, now I'm starting to do that for other pages in the site. But then what happened was it went from about position six to three. <laughs> and I just like that the curve just went. <laughs> I'm like, oh dear. <laughs> so I just noticed that. I thought, okay. So I thought, okay, what, what else can I do? Then I started like ranking, so I moved up from four. Now I'm sort of fluctuating between about three and four. So it fluctuates depending on what country and what time of the day and what data center you're pulling from and whatnot. So now it's just constantly sitting there. Now like uh, position, uh, I think it's bumped up to two sometimes. Yeah. Then you, you'll notice when it bumps up to two because uh, it gets like a ton of traffic. Yeah. So like between two and three is actually quite significant sometimes, but particularly when you're getting, if you add up all the keyword terms on the broad sense, there's probably maybe at 1.2 million searches a month. Well, I mean, I know for a fact is statistics. So, so it's apparently the first page of Google gets about 40-odd percent of the traffic. Then it drops down by about 33%, goes down to about, I think it's between 15 to about 20%. And then third page or third ranking goes down to only about like 10 to about 5 percent so there is a huge gap difference as soon as you jump different spots yeah particularly when you're going after a high traffic keyword phrase now onto the monetization that's the thing i thought i just just want to crack it first before i monetize it now i'm getting an absolute truckload of traffic coming to the site now the next stage is to monetize so obviously i want to come out with uh, some sort of course um, obviously, want to be like lead capturing, which is obviously good. Now, I have noticed like once the traffic starts to come, they're automatically signing up anyway, yep. and so they go, okay, if this guy's like you know like a position two or three, he, he must know something about home-based business or that arena. Yep. And so now the next stage is obviously to get enough traffic coming in the door to then obviously uh, bring my course out and obviously to train people up in order to start their own home-based business and overcome all the hurdles, all the usual stuff out there. That sounds really, really interesting. It, it's really amazing because all you have to do is just focus on one strategy and just keep doing that strategy and just keep repeating the process and you get there. You know, Obviously, there's a lot of advanced stuff, particularly for the competitive terms, but for anybody who's approaching local businesses or who are just starting out in a very niche market this is perfect for them yeah. one other thing I just want to do add to that what helped me in my page rank on its own was my YouTube channel uh, okay. because now uh, because there was like uh, last year <clears throat> from April last year to about uh, January February this year there was no page rank update and so I'm going sitting there going I'm doing a lot of work but I'm not seeing any results or what I see results I mean not that the, you're counting on that but I thought well, I want to see at least a bit of fruit and see what it actually is then when they did the update um, <clears throat> my front page on my website on carlvanderpau.com went from like nothing to uh, page rank 4 uh, because of all the backlinking I've done to all the different deep links within my site but then I, I thought wonder what my YouTube channel is because I've been going like 
crazy on that thing. And I've got like maybe about 40 PageRank 8s now and a whole bunch of other things that I've commented. I've noticed some other things too. If you're commenting on a video, like an individual video, not just the channels, but the videos as well, past PageRank. Now, one of the things I did notice when I'm doing my backlink check was um, the actual video that actually got me the, the most page rank and it was a page rank 5 uh, that I made a comment on it was like on like page 2 of the comments now but that passed page rank on the on the actual thing there so when I did a backlink check that was like one of the top ones like a page rank 5 that passed the juice that's amazing so really if you just solidly focus which I've always emphasized anyway and when we're talking about niche marketing and whatnot is to focus on high quality PR sites which allow you to be able to get that page rank. You won't see it right now because it doesn't happen instantly but what will happen is that as soon as that goes up it obviously affects your rankings through Google so that when people search for you or even YouTube when people are searching for you yeah. your listings will come up much higher. So a lot of people as they say there's a lot of courses out there at the moment that are doing .edu backlinks and .gov backlinks. Uh, it, it takes so forever like, like by the time you find them and by the time you, you comment in there you could have made at least 20 posts on YouTube and you're getting a ton more traffic to that rather than some obscure school site that like you know three people look at per year on that particular page yeah it's huge page rank but whoop de do like no one comes to it so what you want to do is tap into the power of like a video channel uh, YouTube uh, basically Google has considers that as an authority and is getting a ton of traffic so why not tap into that rather than some obscure like school website they're trying to get into going wow I've got an EDU back then well, it's all good as a part of your overall strategy but don't focus on trying to find a ton of them you could literally do like 10 times the amount of work in less time just by just making some comments and, and becoming friends on YouTube that sounds like a simple strategy and easy strategy well Carl I want to wrap it up right now. I want to thank you so much for sharing all of these awesome <laughs> tips about video. I mean, I have learned so much and I, I'm really keen and excited to go back and apply it just to my YouTube channel. Um, so I really, really appreciate your time to come out and share all these great tips. And I, I just want to give you the opportunity as well to, to share with other people if they want to get in contact with you, maybe a take on some of your services or anything like that, how can they get in contact with you? Yeah, well pretty much a lot of the services that we uh, have is in my offline business is uh, towards local marketing, like uh, local businesses. So we do things like uh, YouTube, uh, we actually do like YouTube marketing or video marketing. So if you type in video engine optimization, you'll see who I am. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I'm number one and number two. Uh, we, al we also do like, uh, we do do web design. Uh, in that regards but it's more around like SEO optimized web design as well as sales written uh, so you're actually looking to make sales yep. so if you're a sales type business that's obviously perfect um, obviously if you want to make some money online so to speak which is I don't know, hopefully the purpose that's right. <laughs> uh, we also do pay-per-click uh, we can handle pay-per-click campaigns uh, we can also do uh, what they call Google Places listings. That's another one where we'll get onto another subject later on. Yep. Is not only you got YouTube, but one one of the things is the local search, and you can literally get up there number one spot. Like within, I, I did it in about nine hours on number one spot on one of the clients there. Very powerful. Very powerful. And once again, it's like it's like you literally leapfrog all the guys that are all paying the money. <laughs> so which is really good. So a lot of that there. But my main site uh, for for uh, the internet marketing site is my Carl Vanderpal com it's v a n d e r p a l dot com yep. and uh, I'll make sure I put the link at the bottom as well yeah so sure. <laughs> yeah so that's that's probably the main site you can get me on um, I've actually got a, a section up there is like a, ask me a questions as I said I've been online since 1996 so I've seen a lot of stuff come and go yep. and I'm, I'm, um, I want to be I guess helpful to especially like your guys if they come to the site so I, I, I try and answer the questions like uh, without sort of holding anything back oh, like I'm not one of those guru types and it's just like oh I'll give you this bit of information but I won't give you a secret sort of thing um, but yeah so I'll, I mean, you, you've, you've provided a lot a ton of information already so that's proof there that's right yeah so if they want to come to the site you can subscribe to the newsletter there I'm not one of those guys that like spams you every second is like ah, go try this product sort of thing I'm not like that what I do as you'll see on the site is I do I do actually get the product I either buy it or they'll give me access to it and then I'll review it and go okay here's the upside here's the downside make your decision from there yeah. rather than going like, it's all hype oh, it's all good it's all good and next minute like I get because like, I've gotten a lot of complaints going like oh this is all bad I'm like oh, well, lucky I didn't do a review about that one <laughs> yeah so but oh, if there's a bad points in there I'll literally point the thing out yeah. um, I'm not one of those guys that tries to hide that stuff it's not about that yeah absolutely. 
Right. So because if it was me, I'd, I'd pretend if it was me buying it, then obviously I want to get some like sort of value out of it. So all about honesty and just showing and sharing exactly what you think in terms of your perspective, and that's the way I think the market it should be working yeah, anything right. that we you know try out integrity is the key integrity is the key exactly all right Carl thank you so oh, much thanks. and it was a real pleasure yeah, yeah. and um, yeah I hope to have you soon back onto this video as well too and share some excellent tips about video marketing soon now if you like more resources like this one you can find them inside mass outsource mastermind along with video tutorials and step-by-step -step instructions showing exactly how I use them to get a 30-day no-risk trial membership to Mass Outsource Mastermind, simply visit freevideoset.com. Until next time, I wish you success in your quest for outsourcing.